So setup wise, in terms of the grip, we said you're now getting to that stage where your good strikes are going a bit left. So that grip has become a little bit stronger than we want to. Okay. Right. And we did also say when you were going back in the previous swing, okay, just before that club went back, there's almost like a little re-gripping and the grip yeah, was moving right. around. Just yeah. a little bit twist there, right. as almost like you grip the club and almost like, like sort of playing the trombone, your fingers sort of fitting around here and yeah, moving back and forth. Almost letting go of the club as the Let club comes back, one. which in some ways isn't a disaster. It shows you've got quite a nice new, uh, quite a nice um, grip pressure. You're not squeezing on for dear life. Yeah. So that's in some ways a positive, but obviously the hand being that far around, you see the shaft leaning quite a long way right. kind of forward there. That de lofts the club. And then as you went back now, bit of a slide with the hips and then the club as we said now going way too far that that position there now you can imagine you're losing grip pressure around yeah. there's no way your grip now is securely in the pad of that hand is it because yeah, exactly. your finger is actually it's way up here yeah. and that left hand's lost control so your club now spinning around in the club maybe only three or four degrees but as i said yeah. if it's moving you're going to return back to the golf ball now with some sort yeah. of adjustment and that's going to be tough okay so this one here now we talk about the good movements okay so we said in practice identify good movement with that right foot staying down so your, oops, so your hips are rotating that one there. There's a good one. So that right hip now we can see going back. The right shoulder now is turning back. And your next other swing can't go anywhere near as far because right. he's staying down. Whereas we look at that one, it's look at that move. Over. You watch him, he started to move. Now it's a bit more yeah. in your exaggerate, which is fine, okay? If we look at the good one again now, so that right foot was staying down. Get the lines out of the way. Right one was staying down, a lot shorter back swing. And then we said exaggerate the bad one there's your bad one okay so all slidey lower half losing control there okay and that right foot rolling and again looks a lot more awkward with that right yeah. hip okay then back to a good one again great okay and then back to the golf ball <laughs> telling the foot to do what it needs to do okay and as you come back now grips a lot more neutral there okay shaft and grip nice in a good line there and as you go back now what you'll find when the ball gets there you'll kind of go halfway between the good the bad and then when the ball gets there there's a little bit of sway, but that for yeah. me is a more compact backswing yeah. than that. Than that. Okay, you've rotated more, you've got more hip turn and shoulder turn rather than slide. The club now is in a position, so when you come back to the golf ball, we can hit it a bit cleaner. The club now is bottoming out. Ooh, no, the line. The club now is bottoming out kind of there. Whereas on this one, it's a little more behind that one. That was a little bit thin, as we saw yeah, it, okay? Yeah. But as we said, thin to win this time of year, okay? Yeah. Not the end of the world. But as you said, when you swing more around your body and you swing a bit flatter, yeah. hitting the ground isn't as easy. When you sway and slide and lift, what goes up is going to come down. Yeah. So hitting the ground kind of is a guarantee with this left-hand swing here. So therefore, you always got to try to do something just I to miss the ground. I think that perennially is my bit of a problem. I say summer... Yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, because the ground's hard enough. Yeah. yeah, that also might explain why I'm shitting bunkers. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. another thing, yeah. Yeah, but, but, yeah I mean, winter time, I just always. When like, lifting, I, when lifting place comes into play, you're like, why bother? Because <laughs> exactly, yeah, cause because yeah. you know, if you hit any part of the ground here, whether it's half an inch to three inches, it's yeah. going to be a duff. Yeah. In the summer, you could hit almost four or five inches behind the golf ball because yeah. your club's going to be coming in quite shallow when it gets back because you're leaning back it's going to be coming in like there yeah. you hit the ground back here some of the club's going to just bank just way towards the golf ball yeah. similarly as the mat sort of creates that yeah. so it's being disciplined then when you're on the range hitting shots going okay right if I get the ground behind the ball don't just think oh, it's a good shot I think okay yeah. no it was a bad shot yes the result was good but the swing movement wasn't good enough okay yeah. but as you said when you swing it more smoothly okay when everything works more effectively together the swing is better yeah. it seems slower when in actual fact it's actually as quick as it would be normally because yeah. again nice rotation on that left hand side so grip wise pointing the club I think we did on the first one you know, pointing the club where was it I don't know if we did on this one no we didn't do it quite there. no pointing the club up in the air so yeah. you're getting in more neutral grip a little bit turned down with the club is okay. It hasn't got to be yeah. perfectly straight because yeah. you're on the stronger side of, of the neutral, as we said. Yeah. Then get the club down nice and relaxing. And you can do that at home. Just grip the club there. How does that feel? Yeah, yeah, good. Get that more of a habit, okay? And then swing-wise, try to practice again. You can use it at home. Just practice that right shoulder turning. So this side of your body is going around here and yeah. rotating. It's not sliding out to the right. side as case in point that knee's got to go that way and that way so you might feel it a little bit in that right hip when you start doing it more yeah. so don't do too much 15 20 shots at a time when you practice okay or yeah. 15 20 practice swings don't try and do 50 60 70 yeah pull okay. yourself up okay make sense right excellent good stuff